Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. The group is all here. We're going to... I came home. I want to stay close to home for a little while, if you guys don't mind. What do we, we... We should all stay close to home, right? Yeah. Let's all stay close to home for a little bit, and this will be over with. Well, I, I certainly hope it will be over with soon. Yeah. So let's just do that. We're going to stay home for a little bit. I'm going to take these guys out. I'm going to fill them up with wood thatch fiber and all kinds of good stuff. And we've got this little town we're going to get started on. And we're going to do some building here and stay home and, and not go out and explore or do any of that stuff. We're just going to stay right here. And we're going to work here for a bit of time until I feel like going out. Work has gotten really busy for me. So I've, I've got less time to do what I want to do to play. And I think what I want to do is kind of just stay close to home and build something is what I want to do. Before I can build anything, though, I need Lucy. Hope everyone's doing great. I am, like I said, very busy. Very, 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 very busy. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see how it goes. The social distancing is real. It has to be done. It has to be done. I was going to uh, talk to you guys about something real quick. <laughs> oh, man. There's a start. There's a start. I need to park her. Yeah, no, it's not going to be. She's too big. I was thinking about running something from here over to here. I want to do our next building, but I think I'm going to move it down here. I kind of like to keep this little uh, palm tree oasis just the way it is. And I think what I'll do is I'll snap onto the grid over here and come across and line up over on this side. Figure out how big of a, a walkway I need, a pathway through here. You can see she's pretty sizable. Um... I'd want at least that much room on the other side of her, right? That way, if I did leave her in the street, uh, we would be able to get something else past her very easily. Hmm. There we go. I heard somebody say today... I'm going to go out and get some wood with Lucy right now. Let's go fill her up a little bit. That... Uh, they were glad they weren't going to have to work because they work with some older people and that COVID-19 really is attracted to older people. And I thought that's, that's really very incorrect. Um, COVID-19 will attach to anybody, anybody. And that's kind of one of the things they've been trying to, to get out is that, okay, so maybe you're a young person, a uh, little kid, whatever it may be, and you're out just doing what you normally do. If you were to get that and then bring it back, then you could give it to somebody who is not able to handle it. And that is the elderly and people with underlying health conditions. So it's not about whether or not you get it or not. It's whether or not you can hold on to it and carry it around. There are lots of people who feel nothing at all. There are some who, who get just a regular kind of flu. Uh, that is the case. But there are... A group a large portion of them that that do you know die from it so uh, the idea is everybody has to buckle down and then not spread it anymore just just let it die it has to die we have to kill it and the only way we're gonna do that right now is if we don't let it grab on to anybody else so the social distancing that is that that is something we that's that is going to be uh, words of 2020, right? COVID-19 and uh, coronavirus and then the uh, um, social distancing. I'm fortunate. I, I, I do news. So I've been doing a lot of stuff on this this week and it's going to continue, of course, until this is, is gone. Uh, but I work by myself. Uh, about 10 minutes from my house so there's no interaction there and then after work I come home because I sit down and I hang out with you guys and we play a game and have fun I'm being really serious right now but I heard that today and I thought no no that's 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 not accurate that is not accurate you know oh, poor poor Lucy I got so busy talking I, I forgot to pay attention to you honey I'm so sorry you get your stamina back oh you know what might help her let's do it let's use it ah oh, the soothing green did she not get it? Well, there it is. Yeah, she's got it. She's got her magic healing potion. It, it, it'll attach to anybody. Just anybody. So that's the idea behind the, the distancing. 
no, we don't want anybody to get it again. We want it to fall on the floor and, and die and go away. It's caused a lot of damage in a very short period of time. That's for sure. And then I feel like there's, there's sometimes there's this sense of panic too. And I think about how many Hollywood movies I've seen where it, it's, you know, it, it's this panic is going on and it never ends well. It just never ends well when there's this panic. So it's almost like we, we have to do it. We, we have to panic and it's like everybody just has to, oh, we just all have to calm down. Keep doing your life, but just um, limit contact very, very much. Very, 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 very much. I think I've got a little bit of, yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty full on wood. Let's bring her back. All right. I, I wanted to share that with you because that is, um, that is my experience with COVID-19 at the moment. That's what I see as being the one thing after speaking to the health department director and a few other people in charge of all this thing around here, um, that th that's going to be the key is social distancing. So, uh, uh, I'll be back after a quick break. I'm going to take, uh, um, Madeline here out and go fill her up with thatch. I'm not taking the bear. Uh, I just filled Kodiak up with, um, fiber twice. So, uh, we're good to go on the fiber front, but I thought we'd go out and get some thatch. And I'm just going to take her out, and we'll make some stuff, and we'll see what we can get built today and, and get kind of an idea. We need to make the sales for the uh, the brigantine. So what I thought we could do is um, uh, maybe get a little something just across the way here. I want something smaller kind of right over here. Something small. I guess we could do the stable too, right? Maybe we'll work out where the stable goes for Ecuador. Oh... Well, let me take a break, okay? I'll come back. Maybe we will do the stable instead. That would be kind of fun. She's here, and like I said, we're going to spend some time close to home and just kind of hang out right here because this is a great place, and we're having fun here, so that's what we're going to do. So I'll be right back. Check this out. Hot technology. Mm. Closes the door. <laughs> I finally realized so you keep, I keep running over there. Every time I come in here, I run over there, close the door, and I run back over here. It's like, just put a lever down, a lever, and then you can just open and close the door from here. Uh, well, I can open it when I get there, but now at least when I come back in, I can do this. I probably should put one, well, I will eventually put one on the inside of the gate as well, of course, because that's where you're going to want one. Uh, I think... Yeah, I cleared you off. Okay, let's get you moved around over here, sir greatest of helpers and then I've got uh, Madeline here and she's all full of thatch at least she's got a bunch of it on her so uh, I'm gonna wait for the Sun to come up I'm gonna try to figure out uh, which route I'm gonna take still and then I'll come back there's, there's a funny little hot vortex right over there by the workbench I swear when I stand by the workbench it's like oh you're so hot you know and, I, and as soon as I step away from it, it's like oh you're fine you, oh no oh, now I'm hot again Make up your mind, would you? It's okay. I got some cool water right here. It's nice down here. I like it. I like it. I like so far what I've got going. I do. Um, I've, I have some lanterns and some light poles. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, lights back in the mangrove trees around the uh, house. I just haven't done it yet. I've got it made. I just haven't done it yet. Over here, I am trying to... I wanted to do a stable right down here. These guys are in the way uh, because there, I want a path that comes through here that lines up with what is going to be the, kind of the main drag, uh, kind of the, the meeting meeting road, the meeting path. This is the, the big ones out here. I'll show it to you in just a second. Boop, gone right here. So this is six wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, what I want to do here is I want to do a loom... A building for the loom because we need the loom in order to make the sails for the brigantine so i want to have the loom over here and i was wondering if do we combine it with like an apothecary shop or do we give a different building for the apothecary which would be the the mortar pestle that's where we'll put the mortar pestle and some tables and you know uh, if we're gonna do a town we need buildings so i'm just trying to think you know what we could do uh that that are buildings we need so in town we would need uh, somebody who could, you know, make make sales, right? Oh, no. I can't jump either. No. Oh, I know. 
I'm gonna get rid of this one too. There we go. <laughs> get out of the way. Yeah, I gotta take all this stuff out. I've got a bunch of uh, stuff on Kodiak here too. So what I'm thinking is this route over here is where we go to... We've got a bunch of metal, bunch of sulfur, bunch of goodness right down here, right? This is the path that we've taken a couple of times now in the series. And I'm going to do this row as well. This one's coming out too. And this is the last one we take out. So we've got a three wide here and the main drag is a six wide. So I figure that's going to look pretty good. Along this edge, what we could do is I could take either stone or I could take wood ramps and I'm going to line the whole thing with it and cap it off really nice at the edge here. So when we come in this way, we can actually come up on here and go in this way and get to the smelter if we need to. Uh, so that's the idea there. On this other side is where I wanted to build the stable, but I'm feeling like I don't have enough space here. I can't go past this wood block right here. This is the wood block right here. This is it. Um, Ecuador fits, but it to me it just seems a little bit tight. I'll show you. Ecuador. She's a beautiful mocha horse, Ecuador. <laughs> so we, we come in this way. So basically it's going to be like a thatch floor, and then I've got foundations on the back side to create, like, this stability up against this stone wall and then of course we'll do the I want to do the roof structure and stuff I was thinking about using that door right there is there a, I wonder maybe there's a smaller door that I could use for her it'd be nice if there was like a one wide we could do that's that's big that's bigger that she would be able to walk through but I don't know if, I don't know if that's going to be a doable thing so let's 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 at least finish framing this out if it's if anything else we'll use it for something else we'll use it for something else plain and simple plain and simple i didn't go past this point down here because i'm really starting to run into these rocks right here i think i might be able to squeeze one more in here yeah i could do that and then we have to come up this way and this way to match that side down there now all some of these are going the wrong way but i kind of like the character it gives the wall and the different way direction the lines are going like one is brick one is it, I, I like that it it, it 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 doesn't bother my eye at all it actually gives the wall some interest because some places you can see that brick coming through i like that um a thatch thatch floors hello wagon I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, if this is going to be her stable, the whole thing has to be the stable. You know what I mean? Um, well, hold on a second. Maybe not. Again, I, I like I like the fact that the buildings are getting raised up off the ground. You know, this area would see a lot of water. You could tell because there's a bunch of dead seaweed all over the place, right? Um, you just you could just tell. Yeah, we'll do ramps off this side, ramps off that side, and it should just kind of smooth this out really nice. Make a little road through here, and we'll get some uh, we'll get some lights put up. Um. That's, that's the other option, is that the whole thing is a stable. Now, I'm trying to think most of the time, how am I going to be bringing her in here? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to guess that this is pretty much going to be the route we take to come in. Just about, if not all the time, most of the time. That's a pretty parrot. Um, yeah. Welcome back. Eh, I don't know why I just made that. Let's make a door to match it, though. I think I'm going to try the wood gateways out. I wanted to go with the stone one, but... It might be a little too much for that. Uh, for just a, a stable. Large, where's the small one? Oh, here, I want to make a few of these, too. I can make 21 of them, huh? Let's make, uh... Let's make up six of those real quick. One of you told me those look really nice on the corners, and you can put the uh, the lights on top of them. 
And that is pretty cool. I like that idea. So let's grab those guys right there. They're heavy too. It looks like that. Okay, where is the small wood gateway? There we go. Let's try one of these out. I tried the, the expensive one just now and tore it down. And I thought, well, because I used the medium one. And it's just too big. Um, so I was going to try the small one out. But now I'm thinking about it, I'm going to have a lot of wood in this, this, this stable over here. So maybe I want to stick more with the wood. It's raining. Fill your water. There we go. So let's try this one out instead. You miss nothing with the stone one. It's just, uh... Okay, so that's nice. Okay, alright. Um... I wonder if I should put... I should. I should put a wall running from here and the one in here. And then this is going to give me the one... This will snap right in there, giving me, okay, about basically two blocks. I like that idea. And then I've got a little bit of wood edge on this side right here so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna work on this a little bit more and then i'll bring you back when i get a little bit further along and we'll see where we go next 10. oh and i could drop you in there that did not work out as i planned it wants to snap on the opposite side of the walls is what it wants to do on either side of this but it does want to be in the middle here so i think i've got to uh force its hand a little bit. It's pretty good. Can I get a wall in here though? Yeah, but it's gonna be it's gonna show. Um hmm. I probably should have made this four wide then, because I see what it wants to do. It wants to snap and be in the middle of two. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Welcome back. The sound of a gentle rain on a tropical evening. Mm, I love it. Uh, something I always kind of remind myself is to put this extra row in here because you can see... Oh, the rain's going to stop. This wants to snap right here in kind of the middle of uh, both of these right here. So if you don't have this one down... I think most of the time it won't let you place this block. And then half the door is just dangling in the air, and then it won't let you place a block on there. That's exactly what I'm going to do right there. I'm going to do that right there, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. I figured this would be another direction of travel when we come in. Uh, that rock is not in the way. It should be just fine. We come right through here. We should be able to run her in. And then this, all of it's going to be the stable. So yeah, let's let's do that. Look at you, hey pretty parrot. Um, yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use foundations on the corners just to give it kind of a, a different little look to it uh, right here. So we'll have these guys on the corners just to give it some kind of a solid thing to I don't know, just just for different. And then we'll we'll add some decor stuff in between here and figure out where we want our, our pylons at. So I need... I think I've got wood on, falls on me, right? I do. I've got eight. Okay, so let's put number six. Uh, on the outside, yeah. There we go. Bye. What happened to this guy? Did I never put him in? I probably didn't put him in. Oh, I know. Yeah. This row was sitting up higher, wasn't it? All on its own. Okay, and then I have to do... Can I make any more of these? No, I can't. Can if I go over here, though? Matter of fact, I could take five. We go right back over here and get these going again. Um... Yes, we want, uh, of course, in front of the door and off to one side and off to one side. This is going to be a great spot for a light and a barrel to have a light right here as we come through this area. This is going to be a perfect spot for a light. Okay, so I need to put another big door here. We have this one, like so. We'll put another one there. I want to be able to see into that location. That's beautiful. I love that. 
Now, I won't change the light on that one. That looks really nice just the way it is, I think. That's pretty cool. That is pretty neat how it, gl it glows down here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Stop and smell the roses, people. Stop and smell them. You got to do it. I gave up one lane of our path. It's a little bit narrow through here, but I think it'll be okay. It's a two wide meeting into a six wide. So, you know, it's a two wide. Yeah. And this is a six wide street up here. So it, it should be, it should be fine. It should be fine. It's going to work out great because now I can have my doors where I want my doors. Uh, can I make a door while I'm here? Can I even, I don't think I can make those here. Yeah, no, I can't make those here. I've got to be at the uh, the Smithy to make it. All right, I'll come back when the sun comes up. I'm gonna just get that other door and get that put in, and then we'll uh, we'll move forward from there. Welcome back. I think I'm gonna go with these guys down here. These these half walls right here. And do I have any more? Kodiak. I have 22 more. Fantastic. We should be able to get a chunk of this done so you can see. And doot, doot, doot. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then I'm going to come back with this here. And that's going to open that up a little bit. Let's go back to the half wall here. Something like that. Air air gets in it, but you know. And then I could easily fit her in here with a with a second horse. I could probably put two or probably put a couple more in here. I I, I think we should probably make How are we gonna make stalls? Hmm, that's gonna be that's gonna be an interesting one too. Well, we're getting a start on it though, anyways. We're getting a start on it, that's for sure. And then up here, that's gonna continue on up, I think. I'm just gonna take this up to as far as it'll go. Well, up to this point right here, and then we'll build off that and put the, the, the roof on this place. And then right across here we have, of course, the uh the smeltery with the road in between it. And we could do some decorative stuff in the corners here as we come through here. It'll look nice. It'll look nice. And what I'll do... You know what we could do over here, too? I'm going to need an access to get up to that door. It would be bad to have a little something right here to get us up there. It would... You know, this, this area would get hit with water, of course. But, you know, when the water... When the tide is down, you could use this all the time. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, take a little break. I'll come back again and we'll uh, we'll look at it some more. Oh, you're right. These do look kind of nice up here. So you just kind of get it to where you want it to go. Uh oh. Come on now. stuck on me like so well I could line it up better than that but that's the idea right and then you put the lantern on top of it that's a great idea I like that idea that's pretty cool yeah that'll work okay we'll, we'll definitely utilize that one but down here yeah I need to uh, well let's see hold on I got you here let's 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 do that and that and that that right there that's what I did down the other end correct it's all yeah and then I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go another half wall on top of that hmm maybe I should go a full wall on top of that and then do half walls above that and then start my my roof up hmm but I like the fact that I can see Ecuador in there. 
So I may not have individual stalls, but we're going to have to put a feeding trough in there and we're going to have to make it look, of course, like it is. The, a, it's just a big room. It's a stable. We put the horses in there and that's where they are. So uh, that that's good. All right. I need I need more, 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 more walls. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, there we go. The back walls looking pretty good. I went over the top of these. I talked about having these being full, so I'm going to have to tear these out. I did, you know, just uh, started placing stuff and not thinking about what I was doing. But yeah, those corners, I do want that to be solid all the way up. It gets a little too busy right in this area here. Maybe, uh, well, yeah, yeah, that corner is going to be solid foundations all the way up. And we'll leave this the way it is, but we're going to take the foundations all the way to the top of those corners right there. I think I might be... I don't know. I don't know if I've got material enough to do this, but we're gonna, we're gonna go back and see. Let's go take let's go take a look. Yeah, and then we'll get started on this uh, this thing next, and then we'll uh, we'll get the brigantine put together, and we'll, we'll there's all kinds of fun stuff we could do right here at home. All kinds of stuff. Thank goodness I'm a gamer. <sighs> I'll tell you, at least I'm not bored. I've always got something to do. There's all there's all kinds of grind to do, people. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm out of wood again. Uh, actually, let's uh, beep, beep, beep. There we go, just like so. Awesome. Lucy? Thank you. I'll take that thatch off of you, too. There we go. I'm going to throw that onto you. Uh, actually, let's grab what we have on him, and we will make uh, some more of those wood foundations. We can make two... Wow. That right there. We'll pull him forward. We will grab all of this stuff off of him. He doesn't need any of that on him right there. Well, let's grab a little bit more thatch. We'll grab all the thatch, as a matter of fact. We'll throw that in there, too. And let's grab this back, and we'll make, ooh, what do we have? We've got two. Let's make another ten. See how that gets us right there. Look at that. He won't run fast while I'm crafting on his back. I was kind of hoping he might, but he doesn't do that. He will not run while you are crafting on his back. Remember, that door right there that we just went through is actually going to move down a little bit. It should line up more with this one. It's going to be down in this area here. And this is plenty of room to get through here with a cart. You'd have to wait for the person to come through and go the other way, but you'd have to do that with three wide anyways. Oh, sometimes he can get up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. Kodiak, come on. Get, un get loose from that corner, for Pete's sake. All right, there we go. Now, can I place these? Oh, my gosh. I'm encumbered. Oh, it's all, it's all falling apart now. <laughs> oh, I didn't make these. Yes, I did. I made it exactly what I needed. Okay, so let's craft all of those. I have a feeling I'm still going to be encumbered. Yeah. There we go. We'll just get rid of... Oh, let's get rid of those as well. We're not going to use those right now. And we can turn our light off. Okay. I need to get some food, too. My, my vitamin buff is gone. Long gone. Okay. I might have to be up above in order to do this. Uh, I have my grappling hook on me. I think I'm going to have to grapple hook up somehow and get up on top of this here. Oh, here we go. We could just come right up here. All right. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, I probably needed a few more of these, huh? I forgot we had to do all this again. You jump. It's okay. I think we got what we need right here. Okay, that's our solid wall there. Now, can I stand on this? I can. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Oh, 
There, it slid me off. Yeah, you really shouldn't be able to stand up there, I don't think. There we go. And demolish. This should be a nice little stable for her. And any of the other horses that we happen to lay our pretty little fingers on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got this one taken care of already. There we go. Perfect. It's a little skip, you know. Does it drive you crazy that I'm breaking stuff? <laughs> it's just how I do it. And can I make one more? Yes, I can. Oop. There we go. Perfect. Just like a so. Yes. So do I have walls on me? Uh, no, I believe I put... Well, I have a few. Whoops. Number five. Number five, which I have three of. <laughs> I do that all the time. Um, okay, why aren't... There you go. There you go. There you go. Ugh. I don't have this finished yet. And, boom, just like so. There we go. Okay, now it is there, but I'm out of walls. Story of my life. There's no need to fear. We have 27 right here. Ooh, clever, clever. Number five. That's in the wrong spot. Ay, ay, ay. It's in the wrong spot. It's got to go back one more. Well, now I'm thinking about something else here. Give me a second. Now, do I want to go up and point it at the top, or do I want to kind of square it off? I'm thinking about using a thatch roof on this. I think it might look kind of cool with a thatch roof on it, just to give a different kind of roof texture out here. Uh, as you look around. Well, that's going to be kind of cool over there, huh? Yeah, I think I want to do that. I think I want to do a thatch roof on it. I think that would be pretty cool. And then actually to flatten it out on top, I think I want to do that too. It'll look, it'll look nice. And then we're going to have to do something to make it pop a little bit. You know, this is just the shell right now. And we got, we got to do that with all the buildings. We've got to make them all pop a little bit more. That's for sure. Because, this, yeah, it's got nothing inside of it. So, okay, thatch, thatch roofs. Can I, can I make a bunch of those? Let's see. Let's take a look and see if we can... Uh... Oh, 51 of them, huh? Let's make... Uh... Well, let's see what 12 look like. Yeah, let's try 12 first and see what it looks like before we commit to all of them. we just like me to make that many and go, oh, I don't really like that now. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this okay. Gives me an idea right there. <laughs> I kind of like how that looks right down there. That would be a little too low, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can't come down any lower than that. If we do, we might run into trouble if we've got to get um, Lucy or Madeline through here. We don't want to block them off. If we ever need to bring them through here, we want to be able to do that. I think that is going to be the roofing material that I will choose. I think I probably got enough stuff in my inventory to be able to do all of it. There we go. Oh. Let's make another... Yeah, let's make another 30. We'll go through them for sure. Yeah, this will be... Uh... Oh, I'm kind of curious to see how this thatch roof looks on the inside, too. on that there we go perfect oh yeah there we go by the way it is Friday I am ecstatic <laughs> if I had mentioned it already it's Friday it was a wonderful thing and then fat ceiling right nine sure give me nine of them let's see how many that, let's see if that gets us there don't think it will, but you never know. No, it's not going to get us there. Uh, Q. I guess it doesn't really matter which way these go, huh? Since you're not going to see them. Burning up. Need more stuff. Doesn't look like much yet, huh? But it's it's coming. It'll come together. It fits right there quite nicely, I think. All right, all right, all right. I'm headed for the ocean. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. See, I don't have my vitamin buff, so I, I get affected by the heat more. And then right here too. This place is just sometimes it's just burning up right there. I come over here and be just fine. But right in here. <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah. You can see that heat index is like, hmm, take another step and you're doomed. Take another step and you're doomed. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a little bit of that. What do we got in here? Uh, anything I need to take off from the NMO? No. We're going to throw that back on there and that back on there. Oh, I could have made some more of those. I didn't realize I had this much stuff in... Well, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing thatch. I could not make any more. Oh, do I have any thatch left? Ugh, a little bit. What do I need? Like, maybe six more? We'll use more of these, so it doesn't matter. And... I think I could also use. I can make one of those. I, I kind of want to see what that looks like on the outside. If it's if it's too steep or if it's okay. I'm gonna throw all of this back in here. There we go. Dun dun dun! dun. Back out we go. Yeah, I enjoy. Uh, this is nice. This is nice. It's been nice being in here today. This is really great. I've gotten lost in my imagination, and that is a good thing. Because my imagination is just, you know, it's running away, from, running away with me. <laughs> Screw it up like that. It's not nearly as good once you do that, huh? <laughs> uh, number five. Here we go. That's right. Get in place. Oh, I need three more of those. Of course I do. Cody, I think I'm crazy. What are you doing up on the roof, you weirdo? And ramp. Yes, yeah, so I can do that right there, and I'll have no problem getting in 
and out of here with her and a cart. If I need to get her in here with a cart for any reason, I can pull her right in here and she'll be fine. Matter of fact, you could fit probably several of them in here. We got a boar out here roaming about. We do. Yeah. Our latest victim. Yeah, feeding trough. And maybe we'll just, you know, decorate the inside so it looks more like a, a, a large stall as opposed to just a building, one building. Yeah, that should work out pretty good. All right, guys. I think that's going to have to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I caught enough of the good stuff so you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.